live at the command center of the JW Solar USA. So guys, um, this is another series, another part of the videos. Uh, I started with the um, this lithium ion phosphate with a top band. So I uh, finally come to a kind of completion where the batteries are already in a state of all interconnect. So due to that, you see here, I brought the other pack today. So these are the packs right here. So five, five at each module. So four S five P. So we have here, if you take a look at it, four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80. And we have other ones here, which is another 20 here, which is 100. This is what I showed you guys uh, the past couple videos I've been doing. So this is the um, project right now because I was going to use these batteries for um, this uh, Victron setup here live at the JW Solar USA. So guys, so far so good. This is how far we've come and trying to get this system the way we want it to work. But I don't know if this gonna go with these batteries because I don't have enough of them. Well, enough in the sense, I do have over 100 of them, 100 plus, I think 108 or something, whatever it is. I have, I think 103, four, one of them, the, the terminal is broken because uh, they, just like the uh, Bronx or cast or whatever it is, you can see the color here. So this is what I've done as well, I make sure are the series and parallel all these guys and i make sure i went back and do the interconnect so let me bring you close the interconnect you can see individual little string going into this all the negatives and i have all the positives already to the boss bar and all the negatives Negatives, positive, negatives, positive. So that's how all I've done these guys and um, get them. I want them to be balanced on one certain one voltage. They're all going to have the same uh, equilibrium or equal voltages on all these batteries. That's why I ha I I'm going to do the same thing on these ones as well. It's just because I don't have the buses for it. So you can see... See, some of them have a plus on top of it. So that tells you positive, negatives. These are the other ones that has the thing. On the back here, you can see the plus on top of the bolt. So that gives you a clear representation how it works. Look at these ones that don't even have that. These are the other earlier versions. And you can see this one here has the positive on top of the bolt see all the way so you can't miss that but still you have to check properly because these batteries are manufactured not in the United States but you can see what is already there on the tag um, you have to make sure you use a multimeter and get the proper make sure you are sure have to be sure that the these batteries are uh, the the polarities um correct so you don't want to end up in any trouble so right now this is what we're bringing in it's kind of cloudy outside and the panels are still um on the shadow and uh or shade and you will see this is approximately about 54 or from the, around the 50 watts i didn't set up any of the um how you call it the uh app yet 
I didn't turn the app on the on any of the devices because I'm filming. I can able to turn the tablet, but uh, it's too much time consuming. This is the reason why I have the meters. Display meter, you can able to see it. This one is off. Silver, silver GX. So <clears throat> right now I can able to interconnect. Able to interconnect by just removing this bus to this one interconnect then i can able to do the series configuration flipping this guy the positive comes here the negative goes that way positive comes here the negative goes that way and end up with the positive here and the negative on the other side i can able to do that now this gives us the um 48 volts configuration about 50 something 56.7 or 57 point something if I wanted to but um, adding another 12 volt like this I can able to bring the uh, discharge thing I'm consider I can able to add this one up and discharge the batteries the way I want then say okay each battery instead of a 3.65 volt I can drop it maybe to 3 volt if I discharge them, I get three volts, three volts. Then I can able to, um, I can able to use the fifth pack here. So we have four here. We have the same um, uh, configuration. So it's 25 amp in 4S, 25 amp in 4S, 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 4S. So is a uh, 50 here is a 50 here is 100 125 so 125 times four of this so 125 125 is 250 125 all in all is a 500 volts on 12 volts if i go this way 12 volts 500 and 12 volts could you imagine if i've done this like just like one string is a do a 48 volts 48 volts 48 volts this can be a long string but i decided to put them this way because i don't want to use a bms and i can able to take any um of these modules to do anything i want create a 36 volts create a 24 volts create a 48 volt respectively respectively i can able to do that but you know by tying them all trying to make a 48 volt um just um 25 amps 25 amps or do that kind of stuff it's too much it's gonna be a long string it's not gonna be bulky that way it's gonna be longer it's gonna be probably 16 no yeah 16 to 18 modules of this because if i want to do really good i can put 18 of them 18 cells for 48 volt it's a 3.2 volt life bo4 but they can charge over 3.65 uh, 3 something like that so this is what i've been doing and I want to use these bricks anytime I want. I can just take this um, nut right here, this one, and slide this one out. So the bus bar extends. So that I made the ex bus bars to extend in a way I can able to interconnect them. So I have a extension right here. Just use the alligator clip to charge this battery. So they're still under the threshold. Okay. Um, they're still under the minimum nominal voltage so i had a midnight no outback sorry i got an outback um breaker so it's a 20 amps so i have a fuse in here which is a 80 amp it's a 85 amp but this one stays your standard for just anything if i have to expose this charge controller to a big array so i can have a protection I can just probably take a 80 amps, so I don't want to go 85, but it's an 80 amp. It can almost push you to the 85 before the fuse blow. You always have um, a room to breathe. So these are the system, and um, we have to um, 
adjust this one again so that we can go into the sleep mode this is where it's coming from the panels now we have to go into 49 something like that to turn the backlight off because see backlight 16 if you go into this it's on auto you can go back to on or off then push select okay There we go. So in a minute, it's gonna go off. Anytime from now, it's gonna go off. Any moment. Okay, he said for one minute. There you go. You caught it. There you go. Okay. Like and subscribe. Here are the batteries. And uh, this is the system. And this is what we've been working on. And um, hope you guys like. And we have to commission these batteries quick or soon as i um, anticipating and we will have some low test or capacity test on these batteries like and subscribe gw solo usa live from minnesota command center bye for now